Hello YouTube, VixenArts here, and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do the RGB twist, twitch, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's going to make whatever piece you're doing this on, it's going to give it a 3D effect and it looks really nice. Um, I've been seeing it used quite often and I just want to show a tutorial on it because it is very helpful to know. So, it's really simple. I'm going to be doing it on a background I'm making for myself right now. It's not fully done, but uh, you get the point. Anyway this should be done however at the end of your backgrounds when you're fully done with them you do this at the end because once you do it you can't edit it um, so it's really simple all you're gonna want to do is um, you're gonna want to group your entire background except the uh, template which would be like uh, where's that this right here that thing this whole gray right here you don't want to do that because it's gonna kinda screw it up so you're just going to want to group, um, I'm going to group my color correction and all my layers, including my bottom layer, and I'm going to group them just like that, okay. And you want to duplicate that three times, so you'll have four of those layers. There we go. Got four layers, now they're all exactly the same. Um, now your first original layer, you're going to hide that layer so you can't see it. Now that's just going to be your backup layer in case anything goes wrong. You know, you can't go back, so you'll always have the original background without this on it, so in case you want to start over. Um, so you, now you have three, uh, uh, what do you want to call it, your background, all in a group, three of them. So you're going to want to um, merge the group or convert to smart object, whatever you want to do. Just make sure they're merged so it's just one layer, not a group anymore. Um, and once you're done doing that, which I will be done in a minute... Alright, so I got all three of them are exactly the same. Uh, the next step is you're going to want to right click on the top layer, go to blending options, and you're going to want to uncheck the box with the R next to it, right where it says channels, uncheck the one with the R. Click OK, go down to the second layer, right click, blending options, and uncheck the G. Third layer, right click, blending options, uncheck the B. So that as you can see didn't do anything but the next step is what actually does uh, the 3D effect so you're going to want to click on the top layer and whatever way you want the uh, it's, it's kind of hard to explain but once you uh, experiment with this you'll figure out what I mean um, you're, now you're just going to move the layers to the sides a little bit and it's going to uh, give you the 3D effect so you're going to want to have your top layer right here and you're going to control T to move it and I'm only going to move it over to the left one, just one little click, just like that. It might not look like anything right now, but it will. You can also go back and adjust it anytime you want. So then you go down to your second layer, and you're going to control T, and you're going to move it to the opposite way you did the other one one. And now I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but I can see it very well that this is has a 3D effect on it that, like right here is a good example. You can see the blue and the red. It looks very nice. Um obviously not the best color with the purple on the background but I, it doesn't look too bad um, so yeah like I said you can go back and change it if you want go back to the first one I'll move it over one more uh, move this one over one more and then now it has a really 3D effect to it um, that's a little too much for me I don't like it so I would just stick with for me I would just only move it over one and uh, you guys you can move it back uh, you can move it up and down if you want you can go up We'll go down and just like that. I don't really like it because like it messes up my flares right here. You know, it makes it blue and or and red. I don't really like it, but anyway, you get the point. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, it definitely helps me out with my backgrounds. It makes them look a lot nicer. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this. Uh, peace.